The Legend of the End of the World, told in Lakota by Dolores Taken Alive, and in English by Joan Darling. Ka ke Lakota makoche ekta, makoshi cha imahe, iruga ukoloka waha keapi. O te haya dueni yea okihishni. Even now, with so many highways, cars, and tourists, no one has ever discovered this cave. In it lives a woman so old that her face looks like a shriveled up walnut. She is wearing a buckskin dress the way Lakota people used to do. She has been sitting there from the beginning of time doing quill work on a buffalo robe. She is using dyed porcupine quills the way our ancestors did before white traders brought beads to this turtle continent. Resting beside her, licking his paws, watching her all the time, is a huge black dog. His eyes never wander from the old woman whose teeth are worn down because she has used them to flatten so many porcupine quills. A few steps from where the old woman sits working on the buffalo robe, a huge fire is kept going. She lit this fire a long, long time ago and has kept it alive ever since. Over the fire hangs an earthen pot. Inside the pot, Woshapi is boiling and bubbling. Woshapi is a pudding made of choke cherries. It is good and sweet and red. That Woshapi has been boiling for a long time. Every now and then, the old woman gets up to stir the Woshapi. She is so old and feeble that it takes her a while to get up and hobble over to the fire. The moment her back is turned, the huge black dog starts pulling the porcupine quills out. This way she can never finish her quill work. If the old woman ever finishes her quill work, then at that very moment, the world will come to an end. Hel ogna lakota oyate ki wichalapi na ohunga ka gile eapi. Ho he hae la oihak.